So now on to biosolids. Let's go ahead and put our roads back on. Now before we talked about our biosolids over here and about the sludge. And what we didn't talk about is what what happens to the treated sludge that's not incinerated or the sludge that's not incinerated or gone to a landfill. Well, a lot of it, what we're going to do first is we are going to line our lagoon with my lagoon liner right here, okay? What we want to do is we want to do more treatment on it before we put it in the lagoon and this is an important part for people to understand. So that's a good opportunity to gauge your audience to see what they think ought to happen. And here you can scoop some sludge with your cotton swab. It's put in the digester which is another way of eating up more of the, the sludge and the, um, the organic matter, matter yeah. in the sludge. And you're going to have some water bacteria. with it. And just gently lift that lid on the digester and it goes through the treatment and again it talks more about it in the guide. Now from here after it's gone through that extra treatment we're going to put a little bit in the lagoon, not a lot, but some of it we might even transport in our truck. Because at this point it is biosolid? At this point it is biosolid. That's exactly right. Now you can transport your truck and maybe we're going to apply it to the farm field over here. Okay, well before we apply we should do some best management practices. That's exactly right. And uh, let's get them wet first. Okay. Because they, they I'm going to put one over this, well, actually, yeah, that's not our wetland. This area is a uh, pollution sensitive site. Right, it's a sinkhole that might that's lead right. directly to groundwater. Right. So now you can also make it a wetland if you want. You could. But you don't want to. We're protecting the waterways here, but we also need to protect this pollution sensitive site. So we're putting, making sure there's a border of grass strips. This might also involve a berm in real life. And then the truck would come and to use the biosolids as a fertilizer, it might spray a liquid biosolid on the farmland or it could use a dry cake like biosolid as a fertilizer but we're going to show when we rain on this area that the grass strips work to protect the water and the wetland from the pollution make sure your grass strips are really down on the model or you might have some get through but if we remove these and we show raining with, if we didn't use the, pollu the pollution prevention strips, then we have a lot of, of the biosolid material and fertilizer getting into that site. That's right. That's right. <coughs> now, you mentioned dry biosolids. We have some dry biosolids here, and this is our arid rangeland. And and they use dry biosolids on arid rangelands a lot and other areas. And again, there's a whole section on biosolids, but um, um, it talks about proper application of biosolids on the arid rangelands. Yes. Now, Erin, I think that covers it, doesn't it? Yes, it does.